Hello, ACCA Performance Management students. My name is Steve Willis. Today, we're looking at a difficult topic. We're looking at the planning and operational variances. This is confusing because the, the textbooks show different approaches to solving these questions. Even the model answers show different ways of doing it. Well, in this video, I'll set you straight with one template that lets you solve any of the questions. I'll show you the exam technique you need and lots of spreadsheet tips and tricks. In today's video, we are looking at past exam question BEDCO from the December 2013 PM exams. You can find this question at the link below. Now to get the most out of, of the video, I suggest you pause the video here, download that question, open up the practice platform, try it on your own. When you're done, come back and keep watching. Welcome back. For our demo, I'm going to take you through pillowcases. After you can do pillowcases with me, then you try it on your own and you can tackle the bed sheets part. Now, in order to do the operational and the planning variances, you need to have a firm grasp of the basics. So before we go on, let's review the basics together. Now there wouldn't be any marks for this, but we need to do it. So if you look at this piece of the question here, we have information about the costs for a pillowcase. From this, we can build up the standard cost card. In other words, how much does it cost? How much should it cost? Excuse me, how much should it cost to make one pillowcase? This is essentially the budget for one unit. And if you look on the screen, you can see it takes 0 0.5 meters cotton to make the pillowcase and the standard price per meter square is five. So the standard cost for one pillowcase will be 250. In pretty much any advanced variance analysis question, you're going to need the information from this standard cost card. Now, we're doing the direct materials variances. Let me show you my system for, for handling this. I'm going to use three letters, three sets of letters. AA, AS, SS. Guys, and I'm going to write those out. AA, AS, SS. It's alphabetical order. You can remember it and we can use this for pretty for, for, for all of the cost variance problems. Now that you know those letters, let's go back here. And AA, we're going to change that out to actual quantity, actual price. It's always going to be the amount of stuff we used and then the price that we paid the actual price that we paid for that stuff. So in this case, it was meters of cotton, square meters of cotton. That act answers the question, how much did we actually spend? So AA is always the actual spend. Okay, then we can go actual quantity standard price. That answers the question, how much should we pay in the store when we buy what we used? Last but not least, we come back here and we change this out to standard quantity, standard price. Well, we made 180,000 pillowcases. How much material should we use when we make 180? That's the SQ. And the SP, that's how much should we pay per square meter. Guys, this is a fancy name for the flexed budget. How much should it cost when we produce 180,000 pillowcases. And we're always going like this, moving from flexed to actual. How much should it cost? How much did it cost? Now guys, I've got the actual results on the screen combined with the standard cost card. We can now get figures for my variables there. Guys, actual quantity, actual price. Well, that's gonna be the 95,000 multiplied by the 5.8, $5.80. 5 
Okay. Actual quantity is going to be the 95 multiplied by 5.0. That's how much we should pay. That's from the standard cost card. Okay. And the standard quantity will be 180 pillowcases multiplied by 0 0.5 meters multiplied by $5 a square meter. Guys, those are the figures that we need. I can now just copy paste that line. Well, I'll just put the equal sign in front of it now that you saw how we did it. So there's that. There's that. Last but not least, SS. Okay, so there you have it. AA, ASSS. And the difference between the two variables on the right, the actual quantity, AS and SS, it's the quantity of stuff used. That's about usage, everybody. So the usage variance will be on the right and the price variance, the direct materials price variance will be on the left. You can also remember that the production manager is always standing here. That's what, how I remember it. So then even when you're doing the labor variance, you can remember that efficiency is there. Guys, we're going from flexed to actual. We're always going from right to left in this direction. Asking should cost, answering did cost, is it higher or lower? So when we produce 180,000 pillowcases, we should use 450 worth of material. We did use 475,000. Okay, so we used more. That will be equal, okay, to this one minus SS minus AS. And that's adverse. We used more material than expected. And we always have to tell the markers what the variance is. We can't just let them assume negative is adverse. So make a note here. Okay, and now look at this adverse again, and I can just copy that formula to the price. And look at that. That answers the question. When we went to the store and we bought the actual material, we should have paid 475. We did pay 551. We spent more in the store. That's the material price variance. It's also adverse. Friends, that is a quick review of the basics. With that template, let's do the planning and operational variances together. Okay, so I will use those same letters. Watch this. I'm going to come over here. I'll go actual quantity actual price. This time I'm going to skip three cells. I'm going to do the actual quantity, standard price. I'm going to pass by three cells and I will do the standard quantity, standard price. Everything to this point is the same. This is still the actual spend over here. SS is still the flexed budget. How much should it cost? Now, we're breaking variances down into other variances. So if we're going to do that, we need a new figure in between the original variables. So look at this. I'm going to remember, come down here. Price variance will still be here. Usage variance is still there. Okay, we're still going from the right to the left. We're still going from the flexed to the actual. And we're going to add a new variable to cell K4. Let's make that another color just for uh, this demonstration. And O4. Okay. And if you can remember those letters, AA, AS, SS, the new things, operational and planning, those also come in alphabetical order. So we can do operational here, planning here. Copy, paste that over there to the usage. Okay, now, what do we need? We need another variable 
in the yellow boxes. And look at this. On the left is price. Okay, so we're going to just simply do actual quantity standard price. We're just going to do the revised standard price because look, it's right under price. That will be actual quantity revised standard price. Okay, now if we come over here, we've got the flex budget. We're always moving from the right to the left. And oh, look, we're under the usage. That's about the amount. So now we will do the revised standard quantity and the standard price. Guys, I'll build this up from scratch. Imagine we're now starting the question. I wouldn't do that review bit. You wouldn't get marks for that. I, I could write it out like this. Um, and that will be equal. AA will be equal to 95,000 square meters multiplied by 5.8. Okay. Actual quantity standard price, that will be the 95,000 meters multiplied by the five. Okay, standard quantity standard price that will be equal to the 180 pillowcases times 0 0.5. That's SQ that answers the question, how much material should we use when we produce 180? Of course, I'm rounding everything off at this point. You guys know that multiplied by zero point multiplied by $5 standard price. Okay, now check this out. In the story, they tell us that the usage is actually 10% more than planned because the client, they said, we want bigger pillowcases. Well, should we judge the production manager against the outdated standard, or should we judge him against an updated standard, right? He's making bigger pillowcases, so let's judge him against what bigger pillowcases should cost. And they said that the size was 10% bigger. So I'm just gonna come over here, gonna multiply the 450 times 1.1, okay? There we have it. And over here, look at this. They tell us that the commodity price of cotton went up 20%. Well, the production manager can't control the world price of cotton. So we shouldn't judge him against the outdated standard. Let's update the standard. Let's give him a fair performance target. So all we have to do is multiply the 475 by 1.2 to show the increase in the world price of cotton. Now, let's just go back for a second. If we wanted to do it from, from scratch, I could also just come back here. Let's go back to revise standard quantity, standard price. That's equal to 180 pillowcases multiplied by 0 0.5 times 1.1, right? I'm updating the size of the pillowcases multiplied by five. And it's gonna be the same thing. Coming here to actual quantity revised standard price, that's going to be equal to the 95,000 square meters multiplied by $5 multiplied by 1.2, the 20% increase, 570, okay? And we're always going from right to left. So I'm gonna subtract um, the left one from the right one. And look at that, that's a negative 45, adverse. The planning variance is adverse. So we didn't foresee that the clients would want bigger pillowcases, so that's a planning error. Our forecast was wrong. I copy that formula over here because of relative cell addresses. Ooh, 20 favorable. That shows us that the production manager actually found an economy in production. He should have used 495 worth of materials and he only used 475. So he actually did a good job when we compare his work against what, sh what he should have done, right? The revised standard cost. Now come over here. Same thing with the planning 
just, we could just copy these formulas. The spreadsheet is just awesome. Well, the planning department got their forecast wrong with the price of cotton. So they didn't get it right. And they were off by 95. It was 95 thousand more expensive. That's out of control of the operational manager. Now, come back over here. The plant, the, the manager should have spent 570. He actually spent 551. Ooh, that's good news. Maybe that manager negotiated well or found a new supplier. Whatever the reason, they should have spent 570. They did spend 551. That is a favorable variance. Okay, let's not forget to come in here and mention. Let me bring those down. Let me bring these down one line. I'm going to control X, control view. We're going to call that favorable. Copy, paste, planning variance, adverse. Copy, paste. Friends, there you have it. Planning in operational variances done quickly and easily in the spreadsheet tool. I'd like to share a little bit more info. Now, in 2014, the examining team changed. And in 2014, they came up with an easier way to do these variances. And that is the way the model answers have been presented since 2014, the way I just showed you. The questions done before that were calculated in a slightly more difficult way. That is why the model solution to this question, if you're looking at it, might not be matching if, if your source did not update the model answer, okay? If you read the examiner's reports and other information from the PM examining team, they tell you that both approaches are accepted. So just do it the easy way, the way I just showed you. Guys, I hope you have found this video helpful. If you did, please throw down a like, please subscribe. This is Steve Willis signing out for now. Good luck on your upcoming performance management exam.